how much do you truly talk to God when you are in the deepest darkest depths of sin and of situations do you continuously ask God for prayer and do you continuously talk to God right it is not a part-time job to talk to God this is a full-time every day every moment type of job don't even treat it as a job this is something you have you must do because if you do not you will be at a, at a disconnection with God you won't know truly what God wants for you in a specific situation you have to constantly remind yourself that God is there for you but you need to always constantly talk to God about your problems you need to evaluate your problems with god you need to conversate with god right ultimately how you talk to god is through prayer but how we hear god is through our word think about it whenever we open our bibles we read say let's say proverbs when it talks about godly wisdom right seeking instruction right how we should listen to god as you know as a you know as a higher parent right as we listen to our parents we must listen to god we must lean on him for instruction right when you read proverbs and you hear that and you read that you're like man god's the highest parent we have our biological parents but he is our highest parent but think about this when we pray we are talking to our highest prayer or our highest parent think about that whenever we go and we talk to god about our issues he can hear us clearly he can really hear us more at another deeper level he can already hear us at one of the deepest levels but he can hear us even more at another level think about that that is special right you have to take that you have to run with it bro if he can hear us at another level why not pray to him more i know why right because i had i struggle with this sometimes Actually, not even sometimes, but sometimes back then, right? I would not talk to God because I thought I could figure it out by myself, that I could just go and roll through my issues by myself, that, you know, it was up to me to get out of my destruction. It was up to me to get out of my situation, right? We can control so, only so many things. And until people in you realize that, you'll let God take care of all your issues you'll let god take care of everything because if you don't you'll let the world take care of it and the world doesn't care and so they'll handle it how they see fit but see you you're different you won't allow that you will allow god to take the wheel right allow him to steer you and allow you to know which direction to go in i am not just talking out of my butt to just talk I'm just not talking out of my mouth just to talk. I'm letting you know that prayer is truly powerful. Prayer is something that is that is amazing because just getting the opportunity to not only just pray for yourself, but to pray for others who are in need of prayer, that's special too. Praying for everybody, talking to God, always desiring to speak to God, asking God what to do, asking God how you should handle situations, asking God you know, for strength, for guidance, for direction, for wisdom, for discernment, whatever the case may be, because you asking God is better than asking the world. As the world will put you on a time constraint. They will answer whenever they see fit. The Lord will also, but he will give you a more direct answer he will give the answer still an answer you may not like but he will give you the best sincere answer the most real answer right because you need directness whenever you are walking this life you you need a a help me you need somebody to give you instruction you need somebody to give you the right wisdom right oftentimes especially around you know the younger ages a lot of people don't know what to do and they depend on everyone around them and except for God. You have to have, first you have to talk to God about it. Then you have to have the right people around you, right? Everybody wants to listen to what everybody else is saying, but you don't want to listen to what God is saying, right? You don't want to talk to God about your problems and you want to talk to your friends first. I ain't saying you can't talk to your friends about your problems because that's what friends are for. They're here for you. 
right? But God is not going to turn on you. He's not going to leave you when, you know, it is in his interest. He has not given up on you. He has not left you yet. So why can't you go to him and talk to you, to him about your problems? Look, dog, I don't know what better way to say it. If you've been on my channel and watched my videos for the majority of this time, you will understand how important your relationship with God is. It is the utmost, especially in the end times, especially these days, right? These days where politics are getting in the way, politics are impacting people's view of life. It is changing people's perception, you know, in believing in the government, right? That's why you're supposed to put your faith in God and not the government, that's why you're supposed to put your faith in God and not people. That's why you're supposed to put your faith and trust in God and not, and not you know, opinions, right? Even facts, right? You're supposed to put your trust in God over even people's facts, right? You have to stand on truth. You have to stand on authority, and that's God's authority. You stand on that. You stand on your prayers. You stand on your faith. And ultimately, that's how you strengthen your prayer life right? Continuously doing it, but putting trust in it. And the Bible describes it, how you approach God in prayer as being confident. You have to be confident in your prayers. You have to be confident in what you desire from God, but not only what you desire from God, what he desires from you, right? And ultimately, if he desires a better life for you, look into that. Do not look into your understanding of life. Look into God's understanding of life, right? Like I said previously, prayer is that deep talk with God, just you and God. And nobody can get in the way of that. Nobody can. But the word, the word, that holy scripture, is him speaking back to us. Right? I never forget, bro. I was going through something where I had to make a decision between a job. Stay at this job or go or, or go do this. You know, go do my purpose. And though in the short run, my purpose may not give me quick, quick results. Ultimately, it gave me the success I needed. Right. Once you get the success you needed, you will really think about like, yeah, I chose God's option over my own. But that's because I was in my word. God spoke to me through his word. And then I was able to act on it. And then when I was able to act on it, I was able to live my truth for God and not the world. But I hope you learned something from this video. I want you to take what you learned from this video, share it to others, preach to others, right? And, you know, God truly loves you. Jesus loves you. You feel me? And I love you too, deep down. So I hope you enjoyed this video as always. God bless.